newly diagnosed where we were driving in a car. Um, I had a blood sugar low. Unfortunately, I'd been asleep, so I wasn't responding at all. And my mum picked it up um, and my little brother tried to wake me. And I can always communicate with my brother. I will snap out of it just from my little brother. The fact that he was screaming at me and I wasn't responding showed that there was a problem. They then tried to get me to drink some juice and unfortunately I was not able to even drink it so my brother was trying to like squeeze juice down into my throat um, so I would start coming round. I was diagnosed around Christmas time on the 14th of December um, 2009. I had lost a whole load of weight. I was 20 kilos when I was meant 40 kilos. I was not being able to walk five metres without being out of breath and having problems like that. So I went to the doctors and they did a few tests on me. Initially they had thought I had cancer but thank god I don't, uh, I didn't. <laughs> and they tested my blood sugars and found out that I was a diabetic. With food we have to look at the carbohydrate contents and therefore through that we need to decide on whether we can eat them at a time or not. Living with diabetes is quite hard. If we go too low and we haven't got enough sugars in our blood, um, that means our brains will stop functioning because they haven't got enough energy, um, our hearts will stop functioning, and therefore we will die through that. But my point of view is, it's not that bad. Before I was quite negative when I was having to inject five times a day. It, it does take a toll on a person. But uh, luckily I've now got this pod on, so it helps a lot. When us diabetics are on the floor, we will tend to have a tag on our hands or around our necks. Most of us have an orange box which contains a glucagon pen and we will need to be stabbed in the leg with that. If you have a diabetic around you, you do need to know where it is just in case anything happens. I try to be positive with having diabetes because I don't want to let it get to me. If I let it get to me, I won't be a person which is happy and all of everything. And to be honest, it's not the worst in the world. I can do everything I want. I've got everything that I want. I'm being successful in my studies. I'm being happy with my family. Everything's positive for me. And therefore, I think I'm just a positive person because of all that influence.